Guys, how are you? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. I'm Heath, and we are talking about new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment. Now, this stack just tells part of the story, because in addition to these, these discs, there's a stack of collectibles here that were part of bundle deals with these discs. Umbrella, each and every month, continues to level up the ways that they are staying competitive in the market right now. There's so many, you know, we're living in the, as we know, we're living in the golden age of physical media when so much stuff is getting uh, preserved and presented like never before. Uh, and Umbrella is, they started with Daybill posters a little while back and then, you know, soundtracks and comic books packed in. This month raises the bar to a whole other level. First off, before we go any further, everything here is uh, played perfectly fine in my region A locked player. You see, some of this is still sealed. I thought we could unbox that together, but that stuff is listed as region A, B, and C. So we're good. Um, I also want to remind you that when you shop at Umbrella Entertainment's official storefronts, use code SERIAL15 to save 15% off on your order. It's good for you, it's good for me, and, it, uh, and it, sh it shows them that you see and value this coverage. It's very important that you... It's very important that you save money and represent Serial at Midnight. Uh, let's kick it off with Megaforce. So this is a... If you've never seen Megaforce, it's a crazy, it's G.I. Joe the movie, basically. It's Hal Needham, who's the uh, the, the legendary stuntman, Smokey and the Bandit. Hal Needham is a legend. Uh, but he makes this movie that is, it is essentially G.I. Joe the movie. I mean, it's amazing that this didn't have tons and tons and tons of uh, merchant merchandising tie-ins and stuff. Uh, the disc itself is loaded with, with, uh, with features here. It has this uh, different artwork. On the inside, different artwork back there. Check out the inside of the case as well. Deeds, not words. Isn't this Super G.I. Joe? Uh, or what, what is G.I. Joe in the UK or outside the US? Was it Action Force? Uh, if you would like to know what I think about Megaforce, I was actually the guest host on a... Uh, group watch, a, a live watch with the, the 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 company that does In Search of Darkness, In Search of Tomorrow, uh, those documentaries about horror and science fiction. Uh, they they do weekly events for their the the people that support those projects. They did a live a live watch, uh, you know, like a live stream of Megaforce, and I was there. I was one of the, the I was the guest. It's on YouTube. I'll link to it in the description of this video. It's the full running, you know. You, you don't, they don't show you the movie. You have to have the movie yourself, but you watch along. You watch it with me, which might be fun for some of you guys. Uh, this thing is loaded with special features though. So first of all, they have partnered with uh, Bob Lindenmeyer. Bob Lindenmeyer is uh, a, well, he's a lot of things. He's currently making a documentary about Megaforce, life after Megaforce. Now, you know, life after is the brainchild of my friend, Lisa Downs. Uh, who is the director, the writer, producer, director of Life After Flash, Life After the Navigator. She was just here talking about nostalgia with me like last week. Um, Bob is doing uh, a Life After Megaforce. A lot of the special features, so check this out, you guys. There's an all new 40 minute interview with lead actor Barry Bostwick, audio commentary with uh, author and mega fan Steve Vag, audio commentary with Barry Bostwick and Bob Lindenmeyer. Uh, 2019 interviews with actor Barry Bostwick and Michael Beck. Megaforce Atari 2600 game. I didn't even know this existed. They show you know it's footage of the actual Atari game. It reminds the Atari game itself reminds me of um, is it Defender? What's the game where you can go either way on the screen and you have the alien? You know the ships are coming in and you can. I think that's Defender. Uh, it reminds me of like that's a clone of that. I didn't even know Megaforce had an Atari game. Uh, there is a uh, let's see. Intravision behind the scenes footage, Life After Megaforce interview with Barry Bostwick and filmmaker Bob Lindenmeyer, uh, Life After Megaforce trailer, Mega Destroyer test drive, Bob rebuilds uh, the Delta Mark IV, Hal Needham trailer reel, you guys, theater, uh, theater, uh, theatrical trailers, uh, galleries, the Australian VHS trailer. This is amazing. If this was all it was, this is a victory. <laughs> but that's not all it was. There was a, a bundle deal that included... A Megaforce hat, and this is not some cheap piece of crap hat either. This is a this is a legitimately sewn in patch. It's not like you know. I get what would it be? It'd be like ironed on or something. This is sewn, you guys. This is a really really nice Megaforce hat, and like I kind of want to wear it, but at the same time I'm like no no 
don't mess it up. It's that collector thing, right? So, um, in addition to that, this this bundle, this parcel of paper goods is here as well, and it includes the poster, which I if I can even get these things out of here. Okay, well, okay, I'll start with the smallest things first. We have our deeds, not words, our Mega Force fight the the team membership card which is amazing um it has two mega force look how hollow hollow reflect if this was the 90s and this was on a comic book that comic book would be double price and you would bag it and you would, i had comics that came like this they had like holograms and stuff and you put a little piece, piece of toilet paper over it when you bagged it so it didn't scratch um this also comes with the poster and that's pretty sweet, but guess what? It's double-sided. There's that art again. This is amazing. I mean, that is just straight up the uh, a hiss tank from GI Joe, right? Straight up just a hiss tank. But what? What? Hold on. What year was Mega Force? And did the hiss tank ex did the hiss tank exist yet at that point? Let's see. Uh, I don't even see the year. You guys do the. Someone tell me. And I know you will. Someone tell me. Uh, and then we have how many of these are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight collector cards. Number one, and they're they're like big trading cards. The backs are all the same, so I won't show you the backs in the future ones. Uh, there's the there's our his tank again, but it's not the his tank. What is it called? It's called. See, I'm not intimately. F Bob is the man when it comes to this. Uh, Bob is the man in multiple different ways. Bob, Bob rebuilds the Delta Mark IV. Um, international stuff. That might be my favorite. There has never been a power like Megaforce. And how excited is Bob right now that he has all this stuff? Like, I hope he got one of these packages. Presumably he did since he's involved with the release. Um, and there was the last one. Uh, so that's the bundle, right? And there are different options available. Reference the Umbrella website for all the details on this. This is probably gone now. I can't say for sure. Uh, this is probably gone, but this is the kind of thing that Umbrella is doing more and more. And if you want it, that's great. If you don't want it, you don't have to. There are other options. You can just get the movie itself. So I think that that is just tremendous. Uh, let's talk about money movers. So a movie, oh, hype sticker here is uh, bending up. Special bonus comic inside. Uh, stay tuned as well. Uh, the, the comics that are being bundled into these umbrella releases, um, stay tuned. I'm talking to some people behind the scenes uh, about, because uh, I think that's really interesting, bundling comics with, um, with movies. Again, anything that adds value to these in an unconventional way. That's what we're talking about here. So uh, I've never seen Money Movers, so I cannot speak as eloquently <laughs> as I can about some of the other things that we're going to talk about here. Here is the inside of the... Hold on, let me take... Let me remove the comic. Nice. Here is the comic. Very cool, right? Very, very cool. Special features, and here I'm gonna, I'll hold it up and you can, because I, I don't like to just read to you, but I often end up reading to you. <laughs> new 16 page comic from Dark Oz. That was the Dark Oz is the company that does these. Uh, new 2022 roundtable discussion with the director uh, and cast members. Uh, new 2022 interview with the producer. Tw 2004 making a featurette. Uh, Bruce Beresford Aussie trailer collection, stills and poster gallery, theatrical trailers, all these things. Amazing, amazing. A bloody good... Uh, this this quote is better with an Australian accent, but I don't want to be offensive. Um, I don't know, sometimes the Australians seem to enjoy it. They're like, look, look at that yank Toronto Daily Australian accent. A bloody good thrill, a violent, witty, fast-moving, and designed purely to entertain. That was okay. That, I, I'm not... That's not my best. Um... But the spirit, you know, is, is meant in good fun. Uh, the latest installment in the sensual cinema range, 
Hopefully, I'll be able to show everything here. Is uh, I think is this pronounced bilitis, bilitis, or bilitis? I haven't seen it. Right. So, uh, bonus soundtrack CD inside. By the way, special features include. Uh, the original motion picture soundtrack on CD, audio commentary by film historians Alexandra Heller Nicholas and Josh Nelson, and then stills and poster galleries. What is this? Nudity and purity, sensuality and innocence, grace and spontaneity. I try to harmonize them, and that's my secret and the reason for my success. Uh, that's from the director. Interesting. All right. I'm guessing, knowing what we've talked about in the past, sometimes that I'm not going to be able to show you everything inside this. Yeah. <laughs> Can't show you the inside of this. Uh, can't show you that either. So okay, we're gonna have to stick with the. No, I can't. I can't show you any of this. It's got like four pieces of uh, of nudity on on every, every surface that's under here has nudity on it. And uh, Mr. Google does not like that. Mr. YouTube. So uh, bilitis, bilitis, bilitas. I just cover all my bases. Last but certainly not least. Oh, hold on, hold on, you guys. I forgot to mention the poster. The uh, the daybill poster for Money Movers. This this is uh, part of the bundle deal. You know, you, I think these are limited to the first 100. Unless the numbers change, these are these daybill posters go to the first 100 people who order online. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and I also noticed they have normally mine kind of come in a uh, sort of like a cardboard parcel. These were bundled much. They were packaged much more securely. I still ended up with a bend here, but that's more the uh, postal service's fault than anything else. Uh, I just, I noticed that. What's yours coming like? And what's it, when you get yours, what does it look like condition wise? Uh, last but certainly not least is this double feature of, um, I, I, I hesitate to call it universal horror because Dr. Cyclops was a Paramount film. 1940? 1940. Uh, directed by one of the directors of King Kong, the 33 King Kong, uh, Dr. Cyclops. So the first um, three strip color movie. Color in films is interesting because you there are different methods. There's a two strip color. Uh, what is the um, Mystery of the Wax Museum, I believe, is a two strip color. This is three strip color. So it has greater color depth, greater range, uh, and it was nominated for an Oscar for the special effects. I think it was for the special effects. Uh, really interesting stuff. Um, now, so I should also mention, like, some of this stuff is available in, uh, like, has had previous, like, this is available in the U.S., I think, for, I think, Kino Lorber put it out, maybe. Um, but for Australia, who is, I'm assuming, probably the primary audience watching this, I believe these are all new for you. Let me know. Um, and then uh, Cults of the Cobra is a 50s universal horror movie. And I love... I love you. I was talking about this just in a video that I think went up yesterday as this goes, uh, as, as I'm recording this. Universal, I just love Universal. They're one of my favorite studios. I love the contract players. Uh, this stars uh, Faith Domergue, The Silent Earth, which is another, I love that movie. Um, and uh, 50s Universal Horror has a, it's it's different from the monsters, right? They, it's, an, it's a whole other level. Now, you, Creature from the Black Lagoon is a 50s Universal monster, but that's, Again, it's a different kind of a thing. Universal in the 50s, starting to get more into paranoia, starting to get outside of just the rubber monster masks and stuff like that. Not to diminish Jack Pierce's excellent makeup stuff, but um, there's just something else going on there. Also, just randomly, uh, check out Curse of the Undead. It's a universal horror western, and it's magnificent. Um, so, two films... One package. I've actually I've opened this and done the reverse artwork because the other side has the uh, the ratings. You know the the content. What, what do we call this? The ratings. Uh, the warning. The certification. Uh, and the clean. They they give us reverse clean artwork. So that's what I have chosen. It says Region B. I tested it. It played fine. Uh, and they look good too. So that is. Uh, oh, I was about to to move on again. I get so excited talking about the movies. Check this out. So that. You had the option for this, the Cult of the Cobra, uh, Cult of the Cobra poster, which is it's pretty much a lobby card that's been blown up. Actually, I don't even know if this has been blown up. This might be actual true lobby card size. And then, reversible with Dr. Cyclops. Uh, I just absolutely love this. It's even got, look, in Technicolor. And here's the Universal International logo here on this one, and here is the paramount logo on dr cyclops 
I am already like, where can I put these? I, this is one of my favorite things. Uh, vintage horror movie, cult movie, genre movie, artwork, promotional stuff. Love it. All right. This is uh, quite quite a quite a haul, you guys. Uh, really, these straight? Yeah. Really great stuff. Uh, remember, Serial 15, when you order from Umbrella and you're saving 15% and you're also representing Serial at Midnight's. It's very important to do that because they, that's how they know you saw this. That's how you represent. So I thank you for doing that. If you uh, appreciate this coverage, give me a thumbs up. Here's something I don't ask for subscriptions that often. I, I, I never want to be the guy who's like, smash that like button, subscribe. I don't like that. But I'm noticing a lot of people watching and commenting on these videos who are not subscribed. Subscribing helps this channel. It helps you to see the latest, newest content from this channel. It's good for everybody. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Uh, and I thank you for it. Well, let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thanks to Umbrella. Thanks to you. Until next time, I'll catch you later.